Hello, this is Karen Burke from Karen Burke Photography and tonight I'm going to show you how I created my composite that I called Spellbound. Uh, it's a frog, bullfrog that I had taken at a local park and converted it into a uh, prince turned into a frog and here we go. Uh, first what I did was I cropped it. I'm just going to go in and to my history because I tried to line it up where I cropped it before so I'll just go to the crop and that's what we start with. Go back to my layers and I'm going to blur the background. So I'm going to go into my um, Greater Than Gatsby uh, Photoshop Actions and I'm going to choose the Blur Silky Rich Bokeh and uh, this is going to flatten my image but it doesn't matter because I haven't done anything yet but when you use these make sure that you uh, are ready to flatten because they will flatten your image so we'll just hit continue and then we're just going to mask out what we don't want to be blurred so we go on our layers we've got a white layer mask we'll switch to a black brush I got my brushes. I'm gonna go on a light soft brush. I got my cap locks on as usual. And that looks about right. And we'll just mask out the frog and the little stone that he's on at a hundred percent because we want to be able to see him. And then just take it down probably about 30% and just feather it a little bit. You can make your brush a little bit smaller. No, not that small. Okay. And just feather a little bit so it's not a solid line where you've got the. Um, the blur and then you're not so blurry okay and what I did is I wanted the background really good and blurry so I put it up to 100% and then I duplicated this so duplicate group and I brought it up let's see this one's 100 so I brought it up to I think it was around 160%. I wanted it good and blurry so the focus was really on him. Turn those off so you can see the difference. This is a pretty good blur. And it really, you don't really see that much difference with the extra 60%, but I can see it over here making, making changes. Okay. I made notes this time to see if hopefully this would go a little bit smoother. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my actions and I'm going to add an artistic enhancement um, called Super Fudge. And I didn't write down which group it was from, but I believe it's from, uh, there it is, good. It's in, from the um, Innocence collection. So the Super Fudge. Click on it, go back to your layers, and I basically took it off the frog and a little bit through here because I wanted the, the light to show up. I'll turn this off and show you what it does. I'll turn it up just a little bit to about 70%, and then we're going to mask off try about 75 percent and make the brush a little bit bigger we're going to take it off the frog and the water in front of him go up here just a bit and we're good there okay looking at my cheat sheet I've got the super fudge Okay, now we're going to go to the soft golden burst. 
I don't know if these cheat sheets are helping or making it worse. Okay, so we're going to go to Actions and Soft Golden Burst, I think, is in. It's either the carving tree or the three nails. Okay, three nails. Sheer black light. No, it must be the carving tree. There's so much here, it's hard to hard to pick through. Okay, soft spotlight, warm edges. Oh, for goodness sake, color cast. You gotta be kidding me, where is it? Movable sunlight. I think it's right through here. What are we going for again? Soft golden burst. Be nice if my glasses. Bright golden burst, soft. Here we go, jeez. Okay, continue. I'm going to drag it up here, about like that, click OK, and we're going to mask it off, let's see we're at 75%, we'll go furthest away you're going to want to take the most off, and then bring it, bring your opacity down to about 30%, just give it another light. Make sure it's completely off my buddy here. Okay. Good. Okay. And now we're going to bring in his crown. Go into my folder here. And drag the crown over. Hit the shift key to resize it keeping the proportions, bring it over, over his head, tilt it a little bit, if I don't get the size completely the way it was in the original, you get the idea. Okay, and we'll put a layer mask, this little rectangle down here, I'm going to add a white layer mask, and we're going to zoom in and remove what we need to to make it look like he's sitting on his head. You use a hard brush, take it down, see how that is, that looks pretty good. We've got the hard brush, we want to go to 100% and just remove around his eye. I don't think I did it around this eye in the original, but let's let's give it a shot. Okay, now we're going to go on to the background because we're going to burn some shadows in, and uh, let me just go back on the crown and just tilt it a little bit more. Control T. Okay, and I'll just go back in and uh, paint out or paint back in because I moved it. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, all right, gonna go on to the background. Gonna click on right click, you want to burn. We'll start with the mid-tones, get a little bit smaller brush, keep it around 15%. Better to go in light than to make, make it all muddy. OK, 
Okay, then we'll go to the shadows. Most of the dodging burning in this situation is going to take place on the crown itself to make it look like it's uh, being hit by the light correctly and uh, Okay, go to the highlights. Okay, now we're going to click on the crown and we're going to have to rasterize it first so we can do our burning. Still on the burn. Going to do the highlights first. So this, our light's coming from here. So we're going to darken the back of the crown, darken the base of the crown a bit. back of the top of the side of the cross. We're going to go to the mid-tones, do the same. It'll really pop when we, when we go in and uh, dodge the front of the crown. Okay, then the shadows. Okay. And we'll click to the dodge tool, make the brush big enough, take it down to again around 15%. Okay, we are on, we'll go on the mid tones, get the front of the, the top here, front side of the cross, wherever the light's going to hit. And the highlights. There's a lot of highlights in this already, so we don't have to go crazy on the highlights. A little bit on the shadows. Okay. Okay, we're going to... Um, Turn off the crown and we're going to merge visible because we still want to may, you know, work on the crown but everything else is pretty much in place. Okay, we'll turn the crown back on and I'm going to pan back. Okay, now we need to work on the lily pad just to clean it up. Okay, I'm going to use a patch tool for this. I'm going to go in and just take out the stuff that's distracting. Take it in small bits. can also go in afterwards and do a little cloning just to clean up.
trying to go quickly so this tutorial doesn't take forever to watch, but uh, you get the idea. If you go slower, you're gonna you're gonna get better samplings, and and it's not gonna you're not gonna have to go back and clean up as much. Um, oh, right up here. because we didn't merge the crown. It's okay if you get too close to the crown because it's not going to affect the crown. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add the wand. I'm going to go into my folder here and I'll leave um when I when I finish up the tutorial, I'll leave links uh the crown, the wand, which is actually a um a cane um are from DeviantArt. I'll leave those links. So we'll drag that over. Resize. I think that's about where I had it. And going to, I think, rasterize that. Going to go into image, adjust. Hue and saturation, colorize. I believe I had it like a dark bluish. About there. Saturation, I think I didn't have too saturated. About about there. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll burn the bottom. Okay. And uh, I'm going to zoom in just to burn the bottom of the wand. Right click, burn, shadows. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to start adding some of the light effects. Um, okay, one thing that I did was because I wanted to make it look like the wand was being waved and in the, in the process of turning him into the frog, um, we're going to stay clicked on the wand, go to filter, blur, motion blur, and uh, have it kind of up and down. I think that's about where I had it. I'll take it down just a little bit. Click on the preview. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. Now we're going to go back into the actions and add um, a light burst. We'll add a, let's see, I believe it was a colorless burst. Okay, and what you want to do is make it a lot smaller. And then move it over. Okay, take down the opacity a bit because we're going to add more. I think I'll make probably going to need to move the wand a little bit. I don't think it's about where I had it because I need to add a few more elements. So let's move the wand. Control T. And move it. I'll say about there. Okay, then we'll Move the light burst. OK. 
Okay, now um, I added a lightning bolt, so that's in my little folder here. This was um, from my layer cake collection. You can find lightning bolt PNGs all over the place. And Well, there it is. It was really small. Okay. Shift. Make it bigger. And turn it. Okay. Hit Control J just to duplicate it to brighten it up a bit a couple of times. And what you can do is click on the lightning bolt, and then you I've got three layers here. So hit the shift key and highlight them. Right click, group from layers. You can name it lightning. That way you've got them all together. And if you want to add a layer mask, then you can work with them all together. And uh, we'll just get the lightning off his nose. Okay. And let's see. I'm not sure if it will move it as a group layer. Let's see. Control T. Yes, it will. will. Just move it again. It's a little bit not quite. There we go. Okay and check. All right, another thing I added, but I don't think I added it to my folder, so I'm going to have to go into my pictures and pull it out. Uh, I have uh, also in the layer cake, there was there's a um, set of uh, fireworks pictures, and uh, when they're made really small, it makes a nice sparkle effect. So I go into layer cake, bonus pack and I'm trying to find the one I used this one okay so drag that over turn it hit shift make it smaller Move it on in. Again, resize. Okay, then you go to screen. And I'm going to pull this. I guess that's already on top. Let's take the, um, the light burst and maybe bring the opacity down a bit. Check. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and let's see, we could even brighten that up by uh, duplicating that too. Control J, we'll do it three times. Okay, you can group that as well. So I'm on my firework copy two, hit the shift key, got the three copies, right click group from layers, firework, keep, helps keep everything neat when you start getting tons and tons of layers. Um, it's just a little trick I learned from somebody else who was helping me when I was on my path. Okay, we've got the patch tool, the lily pad, the burst, the lightning, the fireworks. Um, the fireworks looks pretty good, um, but sometimes what you can do is when you have the initial um, transfer that you're going to do is you can right click on it and, and just angle it a little better using the perspective. Um, it helps because you can narrow back here and then have it be wider over here. So the per perspective work X, it, it does a good job. Okay, I'm babbling. Um, next we're going to add sparkles. You can do this with a brush. I'm going to do it both ways. I have an overlay that I had made. It's a little bit busy so I end up a lot of times 
erasing a good good portion of it all these little tiny sparkles here I'm not crazy about um, put it right about there I think hit screen we're gonna take everything off him his face check layer mask brush black 100% take it off him take it off his mouth take, make the brush a little bigger because I want to get rid of a lot some of not all of but of these little sparkly dews that we got here I'll put that back in I accidentally erased some of it looks too close to his nose. I'm just going to downsize Photoshop so I can look at the original because I have it on as my uh, uh, I guess it's it's close enough. It's a little bit brighter and a little bit more busy than the original. But again, it's just, just to give you an idea of what the process is, and, and I spend a lot more time, but I just don't want to make the uh, tutorial last forever because people don't want to watch anything that just goes on and on and on. And so that's where we're going to leave that. Um, what I did was, so I could have a reflection of the sparkles in the water, was I duplicated this, Control J, Control T, that's our sparkle layer, right click, flip horizontal, pull it down into the water, and line it up so you can kind of think that you're going to see some reflection, and erase what uh, isn't going to show up. I'm going to burn here so that's really not going to show up. Okay, basically it's just Actually, I could put that one back in just, just for the purpose of the tutorial. I'll move it down a little bit. Control T, so it's in the water. Okay, you're going to decrease the opacity of the reflection. And then on the layer mask, you're going to take a very small brush. And just kind of, it might be too big, kind of brush through I'm on the white so it looks like the water. That's too big of a brush. Um, so it almost looks like the water is uh, rippling through. We'll take it down. 17 I got it at 12 decrease the opacity to around 50 percent and just kind of brush through a bit it's not perfect I'm sure there's probably a better way but this is just the way I did it and like I said I'm going to dodge here so that there's a reflection this brightness is going to be in the water um, just basically showing you this because when you're putting effects in and you've got water you got to keep in mind that what's what's going to what's going to create a reflection so let's see i'm going to take a look at my cheat sheet okay fireworks perspective light wand sparkles burned motion blur okay now i'm going to use a brush to just add a few more sparkles um, these little brushes down here, they just come, there's not, no sp special brush, it just comes loaded in Photoshop. I had had a ton of brushes and then they disappeared. I'm going to have to figure out where they went 
and I I did reload some of them, but I had created some snow brushes, and I have no idea where they went. I'll have to find them. Um, get this big enough. I'm going to have it on a, a white brush. We'll go up 84%. We'll see what we've got here. Go on, um, I think I went on the wand. You want to go on a clear layer and just add them there to click, click, click. Couple, light click, couple of clicks, darker, make it brighter in some areas. Um, change the size. You can change the angle. Okay, so now we're going to got pretty much all of our, our edits in. This is really bright. I'm just going to take it down a bit. Where's my burst here? Okay. I'm going to flatten. And we're going to add our last bits of um, Greater Than Gatsby actions. I'm going to start with the color base. So we're going to go to actions. And this one's from the carving tree, which is right here and we're going to go to the dramatic color base takes a little bit okay go to your layers open up I know I took some of the vignette off the bottom here go back to a soft brush Make it larger. Black. Okay. All right, I think I turned the spotlight off. Yeah, I want the spotlight off. And and just go through and see what every layer does. I don't think I need all this too much sharpening because it was pretty sharp. So I'm going to turn off the sharpening. Um, rescue detail. Do I like that? Do we like it? Hmm. That's up to you. Play with the rescue detail. Sometimes it, it, it puts, if you want it dramatic, it might put too much back in. I'm on the fence. So just play with it. And you can always mask out what you don't like. Uh, I'm going to turn off the other sharp. Because if, if, if you tried to load it up somewhere where it brings it real big, you're going to see all the, uh, the noise and uh, too much sharpening will show up. A lot of times when I upload to 500 pics, I'll, see, I'll have something on Photoshop and I won't see that there's a problem until I upload it to another site and I, and I can see just how super, super sharp it is. And it's not just, not just uh, these actions, but just, just my editing in general. I sometimes can over sharpen. So I'm going to close this and we're going to add um, where the wild things are. That's in the Innocence Collection. And okay, I'm getting better at finding things in here. It's been a little while. Okay, and we're going to mask it off the frog. and take down just a bit 
and mask it off up here. Make the brush a little bigger. Okay, then now the next enhancement is going to be from the Carving Tree Collection. And No, it's not. It's going to be from the Three Nails Collection. So that's way down here. Where am I? Carving Tree, Gradients. It's dizzy. Denim on denim. Another one of my favorites. Okay, this one I'm going to take off the frog and the water down here. Okay, and I'm going to flatten and do just a little dodging in the water. Going to go right click, dodge, make my brush bigger, go in on the shadows first. Okay, mid tones. Highlights. Have it brightest in the middle and just kind of feather it out. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that it encouraged you to try compositing. It's a lot of fun. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get emails um, every time I make a new one. Thank you very much. Good night.